All right, so I had a viewer reach out and ask me if I could compare the GoPro Hero 9 Black, 4K, 30 frames per second, against the Sony FDR-X3000 at 4K, 30 frames per second. Now, the Sony FDR-X3000 was, when it first came out and I first got it, it was my, it was the love because it had great image quality because sony is very well known for their image quality and it was very small and compact i didn't like the fact that it didn't have a uh a viewing screen but it had forward facing stereo microphones and it had the boss system the balance optical stabilization system where the whole lens assembly would move and for the time when it came out it was the master of image stabilization for a small compact camera now I've got a couple of Sony camcorders. I've got the AX33. Uh, could have waited a little bit longer and got the AX53 because it's got a little bit better zoom capability. It had 30 times zoom as opposed to 10 times on the AX33. But all of my other bigger camcorders that I use for film and documentaries are all Sony's. And I've got a couple Canon cameras. I've been kind of loyal to a couple of different brands. Well, there's a bunny rabbit. Right there. Hey, bunny. Yeah, we have a lot of bunny rabbits on our property. Uh, we've got probably a family of seven back there in the bushes. Uh, back here in my shed, I've got another family of maybe 15 or 20. And then on the other side of the house, another maybe 15 or 20. So we've got rabbits everywhere, but they're wild rabbits and they don't bother anything except my wife's vegetable garden. So let's do a quick little audio test. First, the GoPro Hero 9, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And now the Sony FDRX 3000, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. I've got these both mounted on a metal plate together, holding them on a extended little handle. I can see that the Sony's moving around a lot because when you handhold the Sony just in your hands, you get a lot more stable footage than when you've got it on a handle. So kind of keep that in mind. But we'll look at some image quality between these two cameras and see how the GoPro fares in this color profile versus the Sony. Starting in five, four, three, two, and one. deals with the sunlight peeking through the neighbor's tree that tree in the distance back there Let's see if we see any purple fringing around the pine tree so for the viewer that wanted to have me compare the GoPro Hero 9 black 4k 30 frames per second to the Sony FDRX 3000 here you go hopefully this is a good little uh, comparison for you to get a rough idea of what the image quality looks like and here's direct sunlight right on my face so it'll give you a good idea of how it deals with exposure too and until the next video i'll talk to you guys later bye bye